talking about the uh, public comment, right? Like if it happens at the end of the meeting, we're, uh, you're offering a suggestion to move that to the beginning of the meeting. Right. And then this is their second part is that we wouldn't take public comment on agenda items as we go through the agenda. That's correct. They would be at uh, at the beginning, and they would say, I'm sure speaking on this item or just general public comment about whatever. Uh, I'm on some, obviously, on some boards that uh, we have meetings, and a lot of times, uh, yeah, half the time, I'd say, of the boards I'm on, they have public comment at the beginning. So I think it's just uh, preference, like you say, if you've talked to Polk County and they do it like that. Seems like I've talked to some other counties that do like that. So that's uh, and just positioning. The question I would have about that is if you had agenda items that have set times, what if you have either no public comment or you have 300 people uh, and you had agenda items that had specific times that they were supposed to be addressed? Uh, so that would be a concern of mine. Um, but it's just uh, positioning in the meeting. I, I, you know, I'd be supportive of it. You're the chairman. If that's what you want, that'd be fine. I feel a little bit weird about the second item where public comment wouldn't be taken during the agenda item discussions. Uh, first blush hitting, getting hit with this today, you know, so, but it seems a little bit um, like something I wouldn't support. Okay. Kind of tapered off I, think, the end. I think the uh, 